Many people who live in cities will tell you there is nothing like it. Easy access to entertainment and food is just one of the biggest perks, as well as museums, sporting events, and festivals. However, there are also cons to city living, including pollution, traffic, and even crime rates. As big city rents go up, that seems to be a significant motivation behind many pandemic moves. People hunting for more space at a price they can afford. That's exactly what some millennials did when the pandemic hit. And when they fled cities for the suburbs, they went all out. In today's video, we will show you 10 big cities that are dying fast in the United States. But before starting the video, I want to request you, we put our best efforts to create our every single video, so please don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. Let's start. Number 10. Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis's central location makes it the nation's largest logistics hub, perfectly placed for national transportation. Memphis is also home to three Fortune 500 companies and one of the largest nonprofit research hospitals in the world. Like many cities, Memphis has been affected by rising inflation and interest rates. But earnings still stretch far. Memphis declined 0.3% to 1.3 million residents. The state's changing dynamics mean Nashville now ranks as Tennessee's biggest city. A large geographic area, limited public transportation, and high poverty levels are among the reasons that residents are leaving the city. According to a recent smart asset study, a Memphis resident making $100,000 takes home about $75,000 after taxes. But adjusted for the low cost of living, that's equivalent to over $86,000, the highest value of any U.S. city studied. Number 9. Chicago, Illinois The population in the Chicago metropolitan area declined from 0.3% to 9.5 million people. The city's shrinking population reflects a loss that is hurting the entire state. People constantly come and go, but new estimates from the U.S. Census Bureau show that Chicago lost about 124,000 people, or just under 3% of its population, from 2021 to 2023. Despite the decline, the city retained its position as the nation's third most populous city after New York City and Los Angeles in 2022. Residents complain about high taxes, the financial stresses on the state, the crime rate, and harsh weather. Number 8. Rochester, New York Rochester, like Detroit, was once a flourishing diversified economy transformed into a company town by the growth and domination of one corporate entity. Rochester's metropolitan area declined 0.4% to 1.08 million residents. A one-time industrial powerhouse, Rochester has suffered a long-term population decline and fell out of the top 100 largest American cities by population in 2014. Rochester, like so many shrinking cities, has of course invested huge amounts of public funds in the usual big, formulaic projects designed to reignite interest in its declining downtown, a civic center, highway connector, hotel, soccer stadium, a few multi-million dollar failed efforts and, most recently, a corporate tower for Paytech Holding Corporation that wiped out a popular downtown gathering place. Residents are leaving due to the lack of work, crime levels, and harsh winters. Number 7. Hartford, Connecticut The city has been designated as one of the poorest in the United States for many years. However, the reasons for Hartford's economic decline are more complex than just its poverty. Hartford was once a manufacturing powerhouse. However, over the years the city's industry has declined, leaving many residents unemployed. The Hartford region saw its population shrink by 0.5% to 1.2 million people last year. Fiscal problems at the state level are part of the reason, while crime and the cost of living are another. Hartford was ranked as one of the 50 worst cities in the country due to crime, educational attainment, employment growth, and other issues. Number 6. Cleveland, Ohio. The Cleveland metropolitan area lost 0.5% of its residents last year, dipping to 2.06 million residents. Population trends were mixed in the 2010s, but even so, as a group these 80 cities lost 28.5% of their population from 1970 to 2020. For many shrinking cities, including Cleveland, population loss started even earlier. 
The city of Cleveland has lost 60% of its population since 1950, and losses continue. It should be noted that while still shrinking, the population loss is slowing after a steep decline from 2000 to 2010. Many claim that winter weather has a lot to do with the reason for leaving and the lack of jobs. Number 5. Detroit, Michigan There will be very few people among us who do not know the history of Detroit, as you know how this city has traveled from top to bottom. Detroit's population has dropped in every census since 1950 from a peak of 1.8 million people. Detroit's metropolitan area has shed 0.5% of its population, declining to 4.3 million residents. Aside from the brutal winters that many Rust Belt cities suffer through, Detroit has had its own set of problems with the weather. Its bankruptcy made Detroit a cautionary tale for former manufacturing cities. However, census data shows the decline is slowing down. Detroit lost only 74,666 residents from 2010 to 2020 after losing nearly 237,500 people the prior decade. The Southeast Michigan region might add around 380,000 households between 2010 and 2040. Much of this growth will be concentrated in the city. The suburbs will grow too, but at a slower rate. Number 4. Buffalo, New York Buffalo is known as the city of trees due to the vast amount of parks. Buffalo's city park system was built by the renowned landscape architect Frederick Law Olmsted. Kleinhans Music Hall, home of the Buffalo Philharmonic Chorus, is rated as one of the country's acoustically perfect halls. Buffalo's metropolitan area declined 0.6% to 1.13 million residents. The city has a relatively high unemployment rate, while about one out of six people there live in poverty. These numbers reflect the continuation of a decades-long trend. However, a few bright points are emerging, such as a factory to make solar tiles for Tesla and Panasonic, which is expected to create approximately 500 manufacturing jobs. Number 3. Milwaukee, Wisconsin Located on the shores of Lake Michigan, Milwaukee is perhaps best known for its famous breweries and the major league brewers, but there's more to the city than beer and baseball. Milwaukee is rich in historical and cultural attractions, making it the perfect place for a weekend of exploring. The population of the Milwaukee metropolitan region has declined 0.7% to 1.6 million residents. While Milwaukee is losing residents, another Wisconsin city is growing. Madison, home to the University of Wisconsin, is attracting new residents. The dynamics may reflect the countrywide shift away from manufacturing bases in favor of cities focusing on services such as education and healthcare. Inflation is also considered to be one of the main reasons for the destruction of the city. Number 2. Baltimore, Maryland The Baltimore metropolitan area declined the same amount as St. Louis, Missouri. It shrank to the same 2.8 million population. This is a 100-year low for the area. Some residents are moving amid a rising crime rate and budget issues. Baltimore's abandoned housing problem is the result of over 50 years of population decline, aging homes, and deferred maintenance. Net out-migration results in a surplus of housing units, resulting in some homeowners abandoning their properties when they are unable to find buyers. Nearly half of Baltimore's residents live below 200% of the federal poverty line. Number 1. St. Louis, Missouri St. Louis saw its metropolitan population decline by 1.1% to 2.8 million residents, making it the city that suffered the steepest dip last year. According to the census, about one out of four residents live in poverty. Median household income is well below the national figure. Still, St. Louis is one of the best places to live in the U.S. In the realm of careers, St. Louis has established itself as a leader in health sciences and services, though the area has a strong tradition of leadership in transportation and logistics. It's also an emerging hotspot for financial services and investment advisors. So I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel.